Hi, I'm Eric Decker with BizTimes Milwaukee. I'm here with Jim Glassman. He's Managing Director and a Senior Economist with J.P. Morgan Chase. And Jim, you just got done talking with the uh, Kenosha Area Business Alliance sort of on your outlook for the economy in 2010. And the title that you were working with is called Here Comes the Sun. Talk to me about you know the signs that you're seeing out there in the economy that are pointing to, to recovery right now. Yeah, you know, uh, I mean, it's been pretty brutal for the past year. The credit market's yeah. really been shut down, and everybody's been very defensive. The, the signs, actually, um, this Thursday, people will see a, a report on growth in the U.S. for third the third quarter. quarter. So third quarter they, we, we're, we're thinking they will see that we grew 3 or 4%. Great. We economists who have been watching all this news uh, became aware that the economy looked as though it was beginning to grow this summer. Sure. And um, it, it, it was partly because the credit market was starting to open up again. That the, the, the very thing that caused the problem a year ago was starting to change. And it's partly because businesses take time for them to address problems, sure. but they got they got ahead of that. The all the kinds of things that usually turn the economies, they're all starting to play out. Good. The building business has been very depressed because of what's been going on earlier. Yeah, with the housing market. And, and housing activity is very low, but they are coming, you know, they are coming back again in the auto industry. The auto industry, which is actually I think something helping the Great Lakes region, um, the auto industry was really hurt badly by the credit crunch sure. and now they're starting to come back and we're starting to see some declines in unemployment in Wisconsin, Illinois, right. Ohio, Indiana. So it's quite it's quite telling because I think it tells us that the areas that were most brutalized by the credit crunch are beginning to turn around. So. Wonderful, wonderful. Now why why do you believe, you know, because I've talked to a lot of people or several people who have talked about their worries, their concerns about a you know a double sh a, a double e double recession or a right. W shaped yeah. recession. Why do you believe that that may not be the case? Well, you know, pe people always worry. This is a, an idea that we always have in past cycles, and it comes from the following: the economy's hurting, we take big actions, fiscal policy, or the Fed does something, and then people say, okay, and that usually helps. It gets things started, sure. and then people say, well, wait a minute. But what if that fades? We're, we're just not forever. Sure. And you forget that of uh, is the real economy that matters. And if if those actions can change the psychology and get things moving, it takes a little while to make that happen. But initially, your fear is well, when the policy help goes away, we're going to fall back to the economy we knew. We, we hope the economy we knew is history, yeah. and that we're going to we're going to find that as the policy process, the policy stimulus fades. The businesses are starting to move again. The layoffs are starting to slow down. Sure. And you get that whole dynamic playing out. And you know, we've been through this many times. Yes. In this country, we've been, this is the 48th time we've gone through one of these cycles. And it's a reminder that bad things happen. We often don't, um, we don't anticipate that they're going to happen. But when they do happen, there are all kinds of things in our economy that happen, including businesses, people make adjustments. And once you've done that and got it behind you, it's time to get moving again, and that's what we're seeing play out right now. Last question for you is, you know, interest rates, would, do you see them holding at the current Fed rate, you know, which is, you can't really get much lower. Zero. Yeah, <laughs> can't really get much lower than that. Do you yeah. see that, that low rate holding steady for the, through 2010 and into the foreseeable yeah. future, yeah. or do you see? A, it's going to be for a while. I, I think the Fed is willing to keep its foot on the gas for a while until they're comfortable that the economy is actually moving in a, in a convincing way toward full employment. They tell us this. I mean, th that's why they say, given the circumstances, interest rates are likely to remain unusually low for a while. I mean, they're looking at unemployment, and there's a long way to go to get back to full employment. They're looking at inflation, and inflation is very low, yeah. lower than their long-run goal. Sure. And they know that in time, we're going to have to wind down this fiscal stimulus. So we're going to need interest rates to get through that. So I think we're looking at a future if it's going to have low interest rates for a while yeah. and short-term interest rates lower also, which is going to be encouraging people to move some money from their cash, right. where you don't get much, sure. into something that's uh, you know, longer-term interest. Interest, interest bearing vehicle. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. Well, Jim, thanks very much for talking with us and I hope you're right. Yeah, thank you. Take care. Great.